Hello everybody, it's Richard Lucas here and I'm back with a brand new retro let's play and today and over the course of several videos I'm going to be playing through Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System, one of my favourite video games of all time. I've got so many great memories of me just lying down on the floor with my brothers playing this game as a little kid. It's such a fun game, very vibrant, very different to the Mega Drive version. Now we didn't get the Mega Drive till much later in our household so we basically played a lot of uh, Sonic games. Um, we played Sonic 1, I think we got Sonic 2, uh, I went around to my friend's house and he had like Sonic Chaos, I think another one as well, I'm not sure, maybe I'm thinking of the Game Gear ones, but yeah, this was really my first proper Sonic experience, I mean most people's first experience would be the Mega Drive, so they got to experience the blast processing and the speed of Sonic, and I basically played a lot of sort of these style of games in which Sonic couldn't go that fast, so developers made Sonic into a kind of a Mario-esque style platforming adventure which followed the same formula of the Mega Drive adventure and so when I did get to play the Sonic games I sort of realised what all the hype was about but it didn't really phase me too much like I'd, oh I've missed out because of the speed you know I'd experienced Sonic in some form so let's start up the game now and let's get into it so Basically it follows the same structure as the Mega Drive in terms of acts, um, you complete three acts in the zone, move on to the next one. You will be finding Chaos Emeralds on this game, collecting rings, uh, lives and continues. And um, it's got a few original zones in here as well which weren't in the Mega Drive, which is really really good. So I think, what were the, the developers for this game, I can't remember their names now, Ancient I think, but they did a really good job I think. I know that Aspect handled Sonic 2, and a lot of people are like, oh Sonic 2 on the Mega Master System is a really bad game, and um, I will say it is very kind of confusing, but, and as a kid I actually did think it was a bad game, but having played it, you know, and beaten it, and being able to find everything, I didn't actually have too many problems with it. Sort of, I have completed it and I, I did find it really really cool and I, rescuing tails and stuff was a lot of fun so I'll definitely be doing that at some point on my channel right, collect some rings if you collect 50 rings or more you'll be able to enter the special stage uh, if Sonic takes a hit he loses all his rings he won't be able to reclaim them that's the only gripe with this game but it was kind of early so it wasn't like Sonic had kind of like you know an agenda with each game and stuff so I know on later Sonic games on the Master System he was able to to collect them I'm thinking Sonic 2 maybe I could be wrong but I know on Sonic Chaos he definitely can reclaim those rings here we go the special stage now the thing about the special stages is um, if you're going to play them you need to take full advantage of them particularly if you're playing this for the first time because you're going to want to be collecting continues and you want to go be collecting lives as many as you can because this game um, can be particularly cool. Now if you collect to continue then you must complete the stage otherwise you'll lose it. Extra lives it doesn't really matter. If the timer runs down and you've got to continue and you haven't made it to the end then you will unfortunately not get to continue. So I'm just going to collect some extra lives. There we are. There we are. Let's get to the end. So got more than enough lives to be dealing with anyway. Now, when you hit the stage at the end, the uh, the sign at the end, I should say, you don't get anything on the special stage. But there you go, I've got one continue. I think if you get over a certain amount of points, you get an extra life as well. Okay, Green Hill Zone Act Two. Now, this is a zone or an act that takes you underground. I keep getting zones and acts mixed up. I do apologise. So get the ring shield, then quickly bear left, pick up the rings, and pop into the hidden wall, and you'll find another extra life. Now, I know that my capture card is actually showing Sonic without the ring shield sometimes, and sometimes he'll actually vanish. That's very common, apparently, when recording this game. I know a lot of people who have played this, and uh, I've seen their Let's Plays. He'll collect the ring shield and then it looks like he's just disappeared. It's very, very strange. It's a phenomenon is what it is. I just want to move out of the way of this enemy. There we are. First Chaos Emerald. I believe that there are six to collect. 
which uh, gets you the real ending. And it's not much of an ending, as I said, but it's still pretty cool. Right, we're gonna go up now. Back up, I should say. And I think you get like a 10 minute time limit, so time actually counts up, it doesn't actually count down, which is really strange for me. I'm used to actually games counting down. Right, okay. Lovely rings. Beautiful. Collect those. Right. There we are. Hit the, hit the uh, sign at the end. Right, okay. Brilliant. Special stage number two. So yeah, I'm going to be renting all these stages, trying to get everything in them if I can. Because um, I'm a little bit rusty at this game, believe it or not. I know I'm really going to struggle kind of later on. So collecting all the rings that I can and all the continues that I can is really going to help. So... Also, you can't really dawdle on this, so you have to kind of strategize what to get and what not to get. Obviously, I want lives. I want to see if I can pick up two lives on here if I can. But I'm having real trouble getting down. There we are. Alright, we've got 40 odd, 50 odd rings now. There's a continue there, I'm going to pick that up. Right, and I've got 20 odd seconds now to get everything. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. There you go, just in the nick of time. Nice. Now, I, I wasn't sure I was going to make it then, but just made it by the skin of my teeth. Two continues now. I've made it to Act 3, and on Act 3 of every zone, it's a boss fight. Uh, most of the time so we have to fight Dr. Robotnik in one of his many forms using one of his many inventions but before we do that pop down here because check that there's another extra life now it says you can only have about nine lives on here you can actually go over your total so you can collect as many lives as you can the game's got some kind of hidden counter that actually tracks how many lives you can actually have and you can have more than nine even though the game says you can only have nine so don't believe the uh, box in the left hand corner, it's, it's lying a lot of the time. You can have more lives. And don't take any risks as well with Robotnik in terms of trying to spam him too many times because the game doesn't like that and the game will shut you down. <sighs> trying to do that little trick where I can hit him multiple times. There we are. One more time should do it. There you go. Bit of head banging. Doo -doo. There we go. So with Robotnik gone, we just jump on the plunger and out come some cute animals. There we go, lovely. I think it's like 50,000 points or something you get an extra life or something like that. 